Alright guys, Halloween Horror Month continues with Saw. We're talking about the first Saw here. It's written by Lee Winnell and directed by James Wan, starring Lee Winnell, Carrie Elwes, Danny Glover, um, Michael Emerson, uh, Monica Potter, Shawnee Smith, Mackenzie Vega. Let's talk about Saw. The first Saw movie is basically, it's about these two guys. They wake up in an old bathroom and... Uh, they find these tapes in their pockets that say, play me, there's a dead guy in the middle of the room. They play the tapes, they find out that Dr. Gordon has to kill Adam by 6 o'clock or his wife and daughter is going to die. Dr. Gordon is played by Carrie Elwes in the film, and Adam is played by Lee Winnell. Um, the first Saw movie, I absolutely love Saw. I do. I'm a Saw fan. Massive Saw fan. Um, so I'm going to be praising these reviews, so maybe I'm biased. Saw is one of my favorite horror movies of all time. Saw is also one of my favorite horror movie franchises of all time. It is in my top three favorite horror franchises. Right there next to Halloween and Scream. Yeah, this is... I absolutely love Saw. This movie was filmed in 18 days on a very low budget. It was James Wan's first movie. I know he's a big time director now. He's really dipping his fingers in some good stuff. But, um, yeah, this, is, this was his first movie. And I gotta say, this movie's fucking great. I know there's a couple of pe a couple people out there who don't like these movies for some reason. I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll talk. I'm sure I'll talk about that as soon as I get into you know the the rest of these reviews and stuff like that. But let's talk about the characters. Let's talk about Adam, played by Lee Whannell, who's also the writer. And Adam, for the most part, he's a funny character. He is the comic relief of this movie for sure. Like there are some moments of intense stuff. I mean, the concept of this movie is so incredibly great. They didn't have the budget to do this big upscale shit like they did in the sequels. It was basically just two guys in one room for the whole movie. I mean, yeah, you get some stuff with Danny Glover outside of the bathroom and stuff like that, and that's all cool, but the concept... This movie was not going to work if Lee Whannell and Carrie Elwes didn't have good chemistry on screen together. I'm sorry, it wasn't going to work, but luckily, they do. They have good chemistry on screen. Uh, you can, for the most part, you feel like they are these characters. Um... You know, but let's talk about Carrie Elwes, who, in my opinion, is the best actor in this movie. I mean, yes, Danny Glover's in the movie, but in my opinion, Carrie Elwes tops Danny Glover in this movie. Danny Glover's okay, uh, but there's some stuff where I think Carrie Elwes did it a little bit better. Um, Carrie Elwes is Dr. Lawrence Gordon. Such a great character. He is. He's so... He, he's done some bad stuff. And, I mean, that's why they're there in the first place. They've done bad stuff. Um, but... He's done some bad stuff in his life, but when he wakes up in this bathroom, you can tell he starts to regret it. He starts to kind of, you know, get that mindset to where, if I get out of this, I'm changing some things. I am. So, you know, that's a good thing. And that's what the whole movie's point is. is if you, the whole philosophy of Jigsaw, um, the guy who put these, put these guys in this room, is if you are strong enough to survive my methods then your life is completely rehabilitated. And that's like his whole mindset, and that's just great. Um, it's a great concept. Like I said, this movie was shot in 18 days, and according to James Wan, it was a fucking bitch to shoot. I guess they spent seven days filming the bathroom stuff, and I guess they shot it in chronological order, which helps, in, which really does help in a movie when you shoot that kind of stuff in chronological order because you can see uh, the evolution of the characters and what these characters are going through. Um, let's talk about... Lee Whannell for a second. He is the writer, and some of the lines, and the way that, you know, Adam, you know, portrayed those lines or whatever, some of them was pretty bad, but it's, like, so bad that it's funny. You know what I mean? Like I said, he's the comic relief in this movie. Like, uh, there's this one line in here about peanut butter, and it's a great line. I don't give a crap if you covered yourself in peanut butter and had a 15 hooker gangbang. Um, you know, something like that. You know, it's so, it's like, it's a badly written line, but the way Lee Winnell pulls it off, it just makes it funny. And, uh, I went to bed in my shithole apartment and woke up in an actual shithole. Um, I'm gonna be quoting these movies, all, the, all these reviews, so be fucking warned, alright? It's my channel, my reviews, I can do whatever the fuck I want. If I want to quote the movie, I'll quote the fucking movie. Now, um, let's talk about Michael Emerson in this movie, who's playing a character named Zepp. Hindle, and we think that Zepp is the bad guy in this movie, and he's creepy. He is. He's, he's got that, you know, Dr. Gordon's time is up. 
Now I've gotta do what I've gotta do, and I'm afraid it has to be you that tells him he failed. You know, stuff like that. His name's John, Dr. Gordon. He's a very interesting person. I can't do a Michael Emerson impression. All right. Then we have Dina Meyer in this movie. He's playing Detective Allison Carey, and she's like the one that's figuring out the whole jigsaw case, trying to piece the puzzle together because that's what these movies are. They're it's it's, it's a puzzle, and each movie you get different pieces, and you know by the end, hopefully, they'll uh, they'll all be put together, they'll be fit, and they'll make sense. Hopefully, like I said, we'll talk about that one when we get to that one, but yeah. I think this film is absolutely incredible. I absolutely love it. It's a great psychological thriller. Something that keeps you on the edge of your seat. Something that makes you think. And even when the movie's over, you're thinking, well, where do we fucking go from here? You know? Um, but yeah, Monica Potter is playing Dr. Gordon's wife, Allison Gordon. And she just came off as, like, the bitchy housewife. I don't know if that was the point, but, you know, that's what it came off to me as. Uh, Diana Gordon, who's played by Mackenzie Vega. Mackenzie Vega is the younger sister of Alexa Vega. You know, Carmen from Spy Kids. It's her younger sister. She was surprisingly really good in this movie. She was. I mean, she doesn't have a lot to do because she's just a kid. But, uh, you know, the moment when she's supposed to be scared and crying her eyes out because she's so scared. Um, that stuff was good. That stuff was really good. It's really strong in the movie. We do have a couple traps because this is a Saw movie. But the traps weren't big and elaborate like they became later in the sequels. We were smaller, on a smaller scale. The one, the standout trap of this movie is easily Shawnee Smith as Amanda in the reverse bear trap. Holy shit, that scene was intense. The cinematography, the way that scene was shot, the color filters and everything, and the camera work. It's incredible, it really is. And Charlie Clouser, I talk about Charlie Clouser's score in this movie. The themes for these movies are fucking incredible. They get you right into it. I absolutely have a lot of fun with these movies a lot. If you guys can't tell, Saw is getting a high A+. By the way, like last year, uh, this movie turned 10 years old last year. I know. Can you believe it? I recorded an audio commentary track that you can listen to while you watch the movie for the theatrical version of, of the film because it was being re-released. So I'm like, well, we'll do the theatrical cut. On my channel, there is an audio commentary that I did for Saw. The only audio commentary I've done. <clears throat> but, um, yes. So ch check that out while you're on the channel. Absolutely love Saw. Hi, A+. What do you guys think about it? Comment your thoughts down below. Like the video and subscribe. Just do it!